Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room today. So, we're going to do something a little different. I found something in the closet while I was cleaning it out last week. And not last week, two weeks ago. I went on this cleaning binge where I was cleaning out all the closets. I started cleaning out the linen closets. I cleaned underneath all my cabinets and gave them a good cleaning. I don't know why I did that, <laughs> but I was in the mood to do it. So I did it. Um, so everything is nice and clean now in my house. Um, so what I found though was an old UFO that I had for whatever reason, I had stashed it in my guest room closet, walked away, and never even knew that it was in there until I cleaned out the guest room closet. So, to make a long story short, what I found were was these blocks that I had made, these pinwheel blocks. And they were all made with different colored fabrics, and um, some of them made sense, and some of them didn't. Some of them were still not even sewn together, and so I had to sew, I think, like two of them together to make a complete set to put a quilt top together. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing with this, and we are going to get started right now. Okay, so as you can see, these are pinwheel blocks that I started. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I did this, I started this project like 10 years ago. And I just, I don't know, got got frustrated and threw it in a closet. I don't know. Um, my guess is because, and I'm just guessing, um, is because it was cut on the bias. And so it's very, very stretchy. And so I was having a hard time sewing with it or something. I don't know. Or I just didn't like the way it looked. And so I just, I put it aside. Well, I went ahead and put it on the quilt wall today. And this is what we have going on here. Okay. And I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And so what I have done so far is I went ahead I've got this all cut out, you know, and put up here, and we need to now sew these blocks together. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna sew these blocks together with a quarter inch. And then I went ahead and cut from my own stash um, that I just had some leftover fabric here. And this has got some glitter in it. It's real pretty, and it's got white specks in it as well. So I am going to um, do an inner border that's two and a half inches here. And then this, this is part of my larger border. I'll just take that off. Um, six inches there. So you'll have the inner border and then this will be the outer border. And I think I'm gonna put brown up against this. So this is gonna look really interesting. I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out. It's very kind of cool and yet scrappy. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew these blocks together and I'm going to get the, um, the two and a half inch border put on as well. And then we will put on the larger border. All right, so I'm just sewing the squares together. This is the last of the square blocks. So I wanted to show you how I do it. It is right sides together. I've got them all lined up over here. So I've just started stitching and I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way down. Got to turn on my auto pivot so I'm going to do that right now okay so now I have one more piece that I need to put on to this row and it is this white one so we're going to just butt it up like we normally would I'm not matching anything up with this we're not matching any seams or anything. I'm just putting it together and I am just going to sew it down. Thank you. 
Okay, I wanna explain something really quick. So it's starting to come back to me as to why I put this away in the closet. <laughs> um, so the reason why is because this is very, very stretchy, making it very, very difficult to sew. And what is stretchy about it is this fabric in particular, right here, which is very stretchy. So I have to be very careful with it um, so that I don't distort what I already have here. Um, so I wanted to explain to you why I have not been matching up the seams because if I do that now typically I would but because this fabric is so stretchy I'm afraid that if I do it is going to just ruin the whole thing so my whole goal is to just get the pieces sewn together this is going to be a quilt for my couch anyway I know I have lots of um, quilts for my couches, but funny story behind that. My dog steals most of my quilts. So <laughs> uh, she stole the really, really vibrant scrappy quilt that we did. She took that quilt from me. So, um, which is not a problem. She loves it. So, but she lays on it all the time. So I have nothing to cover myself with. So here we go. So this will be for me or probably for her and I'll get the old one back. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I wanted to let you know that that is exactly why I am doing it the way that I'm doing it. So when you saw me sewing that together, the blocks, I wasn't lining them up and they are going to be mismatched. I'm not even, I'm not even going to lie. This quilt is mismatched and nothing, nothing is perfect with it. Um, and I'm okay with that because sometimes, you know, quilts are just meant to be wonky and to be scrappy and to just be used the way that they're intended to be used. This is not going to hang on my wall. So I'm not concerned about this at all. Okay. Um, if you were to do something like this and you were making it as a gift or whatever, you know, I would be concerned, but, but I'm not. And, um, like I said, this is a UFO that I found in my closet that I didn't even know I had. So we're just finishing it up. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm gonna go back to the sewing machine. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, but I'm getting ready to put this border on at the bottom. And then we're gonna attach uh, this one to the row and then the row will be done. And then I need to just put the these little two and a half inch borders on the sides. So I'm gonna get this on there. So what you're gonna be seeing is that, and I'm not gonna have any sounds on and I'm going to fast forward during this process because I don't really think you need to sit there and listen to me, so. <laughs> so let's go do that. And as you can see, um, 10 years ago <laughs> when I was quilting, um, I was not able to do a very good job on my pinwheels. And so if you are having troubles with your pinwheels, don't get hung up on it because as you continue to quilt and progress, you will get the hang of it. You really, really, really will get the hang of it. I mean, it is just amazing how far you will come and you will see that. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to take, it's a six inch ruler and I am going to line up on the three inch mark right here. I'm going to line it up on that seam right in the center. Okay. Right there. So now I have three inches on this side, three inches on this side. I have already cut and squared up this block to 15 inches. And how I did that was I put my square ruler, I have a big ruler here, that's a 15 inch ruler, 15 and a half inches to be exact. And I put the seven and a half on the center line here, okay? So that's how I did that. So I did seven and a half from this center over, cut off the excess, did the same here, 
spun it around, and then I lined up on here seven and a half inches, and I cut off the excess this way. That's how you square it up. I have a lot of videos on how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the three inch mark in the center. Let me try and get you a little bit closer here. Okay, so now you can see right there. One, two, three, that's what you want. I take my rotary cutter that I should have had closed but didn't, oops, cut that away. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over to this end and I'm just going to cut down the other side. Push that to the side. Then I have some leftover scrap that I can do whatever I want with that, right? And now look what we have. Ta-da! I am so excited about this, you guys. I am so excited. I came up with that. I'm sure somebody else has done it before, but <laughs> it happened to me this morning while I was playing in here. So just go with me on this. Um, so I'm gonna go put this on the other side of the quilt and see how this looks. All right, so we're working on the large border around the quilt here. So I just wanna explain what I've done here. So I've already shown you how to make this piece right here. And all I've done is cut out these, this brown piece of fabric, um, which I think is a sheet to be honest, because it was just in my stash and I, it, it's kind of a weird texture. Anyway, um, I cut it six inches wide so that it would match the width of this. And then I measured up here on my quilt what the length is. And so I just, cut one long strip of the brown and then I measured it here and then I cut it. I just manually cut it and I left enough for a seam allowance there. And the same thing here, although you really can't tell that much because it's kind of fallen down here. But um, that is how you do that. And next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew these two pieces together and then these two pieces together and then we'll sew it onto the border, make a larger border. And you'll just repeat that whole process for the rest of the quilt. Now you will wanna make sure that you are lined up with where you wanna be at. And for me, I want to be right here. So when I do this, I will make sure that I pin so that I'm lined up perfectly there. Okay, the quilt top is all pieced together and Honestly, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It is beautiful. And so I'm gonna do a close up so you can see what it really looks like. But, oh my goodness, that's what it looks like on the bottom. Look at this. It is pretty. Wow. Not bad for a UFO. Pretty amazing. Okay, so the next thing that I will do is I'm actually going to post a video on Friday. Yes, on Black Friday. Um, and what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you how to use your sewing machine stitches to quilt a quilt. So we will be using some of the decorative stitches for this. So grab your UFO, get it done, and get it ready because Friday is when we're going to start using our decorative stitches to quilt this. Okay, so that quilt measures 58 by 74, and that is without binding on it. So it will probably, I don't know, I'm not sure if it'll shrink or whatever. I'm really tired. It's taken me a long time to put this together. Um, actually, it'll, it'll gain a little bit in, um, in its width and its length. So anyway, that's where it's at. That quilt is huge, okay? So that is it for me today here on The Crafty Author. If you would like to follow me on social media, links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and ring that little bell so that you'll get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. <laughs> My husband's looking at me, giving me silly looks and making me laugh. Oh, goodness. Don't forget to share because sharing is caring. So go ahead and spread the love. I always appreciate it when you share my videos all over social media. And keep on crafting. And I will see you guys next time on The Crafty Author. Bye-bye.